George, 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 what are we going to do with you? The Chicago Bears currently own the number nine overall pick in the 2023 NFL draft after they traded the number one overall pick to the Carolina Panthers in exchange for the number nine pick, the number 61 pick, a 2024 first round pick, and a 2025 second round pick, along with wide receiver DJ Moore. But according to a statement made earlier this week by Bears chairman George McCaskey, it sounds like they're willing to trade back the number nine pick now. I will flat out say it. I do not agree with this at all. There are really no teams behind the Chicago Bears that would give up a significant haul in order to move back. And also on top of it, the Bears do have some key areas of need, especially at right tackle and still defensive edge that the Bears need to address. And at number nine, I still feel like there's going to be a lot of talent there and would hate to trade away the number nine pick to move back a few spots just to lose that person. But I do see the Bears potentially doing this now that that's a statement. And if they were to do it, here are a couple options that I would want them to do. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to this episode of Just Another Year Chicago. My name is Nick Rohde. Happy Friday. Poles wants to build this team through the draft, so I'm going to share my thoughts on what they should do if they trade back the number nine overall pick and who they'll do it to. Before we begin, please make sure at the end of this video to put your thoughts in the comment section below. Hit the like button on this video if you agree with what I'm saying. And if you haven't already, ready and you don't mind doing please hit the subscribe button trade number one i would do if i'm trading back the number nine overall pick is with the new york jets new york still has it locked in bringing in green bay quarterback aaron Rodgers, which kind of stinks for us if it doesn't happen and also if it doesn't happen then new york are they going to stick with zach wilson probably not at this rate jets will have to move up in the draft in order to get another quarterback within the top 10 and right now they currently own the number 13 overall pick if we were to trade the number nine for the number 13 with the New York Jets, there's a little bit more that I need in order to make that trade official. So Chicago would send their number nine overall pick to the New York Jets in exchange with the Jets for the number 13, number 43, which is in the second round and a 2024 third round pick. That gives us an earlier second round pick along with still staying in the top 15 and able to go out and get some of the best talent in the draft. I think that the Bears could do this. I think it would be good for them. And even if the Jets do get Aaron Rodgers, because it doesn't sound like they are trading with the Packers that first round, pick. Maybe the Jets would do it with the Bears. I'm still looking for the Bears to get a right tackle or a solid edge rusher, and that's what I would want to do if we were to get 13. Another trade that I would do if we were to move back would get a little bit more in return, even though the pick would be later, would be with the Washington Commanders. The Commanders have no idea who they're going to be starting at quarterback this year, even after signing veteran quarterback Jacoby Brissett, and now they have Sam Howell, who suddenly is an option and people are saying could be their starting quarterback this upcoming season. Commanders could want to get their future quarterback early and get it in the top 10 is key, especially with this year's draft class. It'll cost them to move up though, because Ryan Poles is not going to give them any, they're going to need to give more in order for the Bears to go even farther back in the draft. This would be my trade if I were to trade with the Washington Commanders. Chicago would trade just their number nine overall pick to the Washington Commanders. The Commanders would then trade their number 16 overall pick, their number 47 overall pick, which is a second round pick as well, their number 118th overall pick, which is a fourth round pick, and a 2024 second. That gives us again a another mid second rounder, the earliest second round pick that we would have in this draft, along with staying in the top 20 and still able to go out and get top right tackle talent or edge talent. But what do you guys think? Ton of more capital coming in. I just don't like that the bears are going to keep trading back. I feel like if we want to do this and get the best talent possible, I would stick at nine, but if they want to go out and get more draft capital, these are the two scenarios that I would do. And I think are very possible, but again, put your thoughts in the comment section below. But with that, thank you very much for joining this episode of just another year, Chicago. My name is Nick Brody. We'll see you guys next time.